Hey guys, thanks for checking out another video. Um, I wanted to do a, a lead-in to the film, the footage that's coming up. Um, I was at a, another location doing a job for somebody else. The job presented itself pretty quickly, so I grabbed the camera, started filming, um, and I just I felt I left out some of the background on it. So I'll, I'll give it to you here. Uh, it was a, and you'll see in the footage, it's a 2007 Chevy 3500 truck. I didn't even go to the shop for it. It was one of those, while you're here, can you take a look at this thing? Uh, it was a key in the on position that the truck would crank. Uh, they burned up a starter. They put another starter in it. It was still doing it. I went over to look at it. It was end of the day. It, it was 5, 5.30. They're looking to close. I'm looking to get out of there. I walked over. I, I spent a few minutes on it, and in the middle of troubleshooting it, the problem stopped problem went away. I thought I, I thought I had an, an idea. It was near the fuse box. Um, I, I, I started looking at it and all of a sudden the problem was gone and we all, all know how frustrating that can be. Uh, it's hard to find a problem when it doesn't happen. Um, so I, I told them, it was a Friday in fact, and I said, listen, hold the truck. I'll come back and we'll spend, put some time into it. Well, he called me the next day on a Saturday. He said, hey, that truck broke down again. I'm bringing it back to the shop now when you don't look at it. I go, why'd you let it go? You know, I guess it was one of those, it's not doing it. They needed the truck. He, he had his reasons. He cut it loose. I'm not going to criticize that. But the truck went out and it did it again, right? Because it was never fixed. Fast forward now, it's Monday. And it's, oh, good, I'm glad you're back. Go look at that truck, please. And that's where the film footage p picks up. So uh, give it a look. Tell me what you think. Oh, okay, welcome back. Uh, 2007 Chevrolet 3500 HD with a dump body on it uh, and a six liter. We have an issue where you put the key to the on position and the starter cranks. It doesn't stop. Not in a, not in a crank position, just the, the, I'm sorry, did I say start? I mean, let's try again. You put the key in a run position and it cranks and doesn't stop uh, until you turn the key off. I checked it, I started checking it the other day, the problem went away as I was checking it and I couldn't get it to reproduce. So I'm back here again today and if you can see, what I've done is I have the signal wire to the starter disconnected so we don't, we're not cranking it obviously and wrecking the starter. Um, there was already a starter put in here, this isn't mine, I got called in. So I got the simple enough test light hooked up. And that's telling me that there is power going to that signal wire without even going through a diagram. Um, as a goof, I know you shouldn't do it. Never touch it until you check it. But I know these fuse boxes got issues. I don't know. Can we see that? Let me see, that. Let me see if we can turn that a little bit. Let's turn this up. Just like... Let's see if we can turn it up like that. There we go. That's better. Can I see from this side? You guys see that light? Hope so, let's see. We'll zoom in a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's bring that on the back side of it. Sorry about that, let's try again. Now you can see it. Now watch this. This is the top of the fuse box. Watch that light. Oh. See if I can get that whole thing in there. There you go. See it? Watch this. No, it's not doing it now. I there it goes. It's out. It's on. Need, huh? There it goes. I think we're going to find a problem right here. Let's pick up, pick up where I left off. The light is off. Maybe it's not under the fuse box. Here's the harness running up the left side valve cover. If I can get the whole thing in there. I, let's see, ready? One finger, watch this. That's all I'm doing. Look at that. I think we just found the problem. 
Isn't that neat? It's hitting the bolt on the valve cover. This truck will be fixed in a few minutes. Wait a second, hang with me. Let's open this up together. Yeah, I know, it's not the right way to open it up. Kill me. I'll fix it, I promise. I'll make it nice. Come on. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to do this one-handed, forgive me. I don't, I'm some, I'm in a remote, I'm not at my shop, so I have no stand for the camera. I'm doing this off my cell phone. Yep, there it is. Hang tight. All right, well, unfortunately I didn't get to fin film the end of it. I wanted to. I, I, I guess I was three quarters of the way through making the repair and realized I wasn't filming it. And went, ah. And it, like, it, and it was another one. It was late. It was hot. You could tell by the panting in the video because, you know, oh, too many cheeseburgers leaning over the truck and it was hot and humid. So, um, frustrating day. Again, it was another one of those. I was bouncing between vehicles and realized ah, I really wanted to get the end of it. But you got the gist of it. Um, I got a little bit of luck, which is why I wanted to put this ending on here. And it's, listen, I'm not the smart, I'm far from being the smartest guy or the best tech. Uh, I got a lot to learn. Uh, just because I'm doing this a long time doesn't mean anything. Uh, I'm happy to learn something every day. And one thing I can, knowledge I'll spread here is, if you get a little lucky, take it. But also pay attention. Part of that dr diagnosis was when it he was pulling when the when the manager of the shop was pulling it into the bay he had the wheel turned and he was trying to inch it up and back it up not a lot of room and every time he kind of hit the throttle i heard the starter crank and when he came off the throttle it sounded like the starter get disengaged it was doing it quick he was, he was you know room room and every time he uh, uh, systematically with that throttle i kind of heard the starter and i went that's odd almost as if there's something pulling on a harness somewhere and going back to on the Friday when I started looking at it, I happened to I went to check the fuse box. I went to take the cover off, and that's when it did it. And that's when oh well, maybe it's in the fuse box because you know I, I took the cover off. I rattled it off, pulled pulled it up. Um, so small detail, right? I got lucky, a luck, lucky a little, just paying attention. Um, there's no trouble tree chart on this one. There's no hey, you know, it's in the fuse box. Uh, but that's where I was headed. Hence the first clip. And then when I was fussing with the fuse box and nothing was happening and I went, it's gotta be here somewhere. And I just started reaching and grabbing harnesses and then also thinking about something pulling on a harness when he was pulling the truck in and I, I just happened to touch that harness and bingo. I'll take that every time. Uh, so technical is good. Uh, wiring diagrams, trouble tree charts, all understanding how a system works. Very important. Take the luck when you can get it. Use common sense when you can get it. Um, I think Mike over at uh, Flat Rate Master did a discussion on that. Uh, you know, experience is great. Look here first. He was telling the kid that works with him. You know, he knew what it was before it pulled in the door, or at least somewhere to go. You know, look at that first. Take it. Take the advice. Um, and then. Uh, I think Eric up at South Main just did a video on it as well. A uh, wire hitting on a drive shaft. And he kind of, you know, chuckled and mentioned, well, you know, I kind of knew to look there because I've seen it before. So, you know, it's, it's what it's all about. Some things you, you have to do it. You have to get dirty. You have to get burned a couple of times and learn it. And, you know, again, I'm no rocket scientist. I just, a little common sense. I found that one pretty quick. I thought it was pretty neat. Um, I tied that harness off. I, I, I soldered and heat shrunk it nice and tied the harness off to the side so it didn't rub through that bolt again. Put everything back together, it's 100%. Truck's on the road. That's my story. I hope everybody's having a good day. As always, thank you. Um, channel is doing well, and I appreciate it. And I did. I do have a uh, an independent, you know, SNA Auto Facebook page now and a Twitter account. So if you want to check it out, you know, discussion, whatever. I uh, appreciate it. Look forward to it. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night. Click, subscribe, bell, all that other good stuff. Say hi. And uh, thank you.